Voyager 2 drifts through the endless darkness, a testament to human achievement and our relentless curiosity. Launched decades ago, this tiny spacecraft now travels the silent space between the stars. It crossed beyond the sun's influence, venturing into the true unknown of the universe. Carrying its golden record, Voyager 2 became a message sent out into the vast cosmic sea, but recently its faint signal vanished, leaving the deep space network in an uneasy silence. Had it finally been overcome by the harsh realities of deep space? The data it sent back revealed a shocking truth about the dangers lurking just outside our solar system. Voyager 2's journey isn't just about discovery, it's about survival, and it stands as a warning for anyone hoping to travel even farther. Our story begins in the summer of 1977, when the giant planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, were aligned in a rare pattern. This cosmic coincidence offered a unique opportunity, the Grand Tour. NASA designed two probes, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, to explore these distant worlds up close for the first time. Voyager 2 launched first, packed with instruments to see, measure, and listen. Its journey began with Jupiter in 1979, revealing violent storms and new moons. From Jupiter, Voyager 2 swung toward Saturn, arriving in 1981, studying the planet's magnificent rings and mysterious moons. Each encounter was a treasure trove of discovery, rewriting our understanding of the solar system. After Saturn, Voyager 2 ventured where no spacecraft had gone before, the ice giants Uranus and Neptune. In 1986, it unveiled Uranus, discovering new moons and rings. Then, in 1989, it reached Neptune, a vibrant blue world with raging winds and a great dark spot. It found Triton, a bizarre moon with geysers of nitrogen ice. The Grand Tour was a spectacular success, transforming our view of the solar system. Voyager 2's images and data became the foundation of planetary science, but its journey was far from over. The probe was about to cross into the unknown. The Grand Tour was over, but Voyager 2's journey was not. Boosted by the gravity of four giant planets, it was set to leave the solar system. For years it coasted into the darkness heading toward the heliopause, the sun's edge. On November 5, 2018, Voyager 2 crossed the heliopause, entering interstellar space. It became an interstellar explorer, sampling the cosmic ocean and sending back precious data. But the final frontier was more turbulent than we ever imagined. Imagine listening for a whisper from 12 billion miles away. The signal from Voyager 2 is incredibly faint, so weak that only NASA's deep space network can hear it. As Voyager 2 journeyed farther, only one station in Canberra, Australia could communicate with it. This single antenna became Voyager 2's only connection to Earth, a fragile link across an unimaginable void. In early 2020, the Canberra antenna needed critical upgrades, cutting the lifeline for 11 months. For nearly a year we could only listen, unable to send commands. The probe was on its own, flying blind through interstellar space. NASA sent final instructions, stay the course and keep sending data. Then they waited, anxiously monitoring health reports trickling in. They could not steer it or fix any problems. If something went wrong, they would be helpless spectators. The fate of our oldest interstellar explorer rested on 1970s technology and hope. The long wait began, with the universe holding its breath. Would Voyager 2 survive the silence? The answer would come in the most unexpected way. As the Canberra antenna upgrades neared completion, a new crisis emerged. In late 2023, a routine command caused Voyager 2's antenna to tilt by just 2 degrees, enough to lose contact with Earth. The faint whisper from the void went silent. Days turned into weeks, the regular stream of data ceased. NASA's team scrambled for solutions but without the ability to send commands, options were limited. Their first attempt? used the powerful antenna to shout a command into the void, hoping a sliver of the signal would reach the probe. There was no reply. But Voyager 2 was programmed with a failsafe, a reset command that triggers a few times a year, designed for emergencies like this. The next reset was scheduled for October 15th. The team could only wait, hoping decades-old software would work as planned. Then, in the early hours of a mid-October morning, a faint signal appeared. Voyager 2 had turned back toward Earth. The automatic reset had worked. Relief and celebration swept through the control room. The lonely traveler was talking to us again, but as data streamed in, awe and fear mingled. Voyager 2 had a shocking story to tell about what it experienced while turned away. The universe had revealed a new secret. When Voyager 2's data began to flow again, scientists were stunned. The probe had been recording the environment of interstellar space the entire time it was silent. 
The data confirmed that space just outside our heliosphere is chaotic and violent. Invisible walls of energy and magnetic turmoil filled the region. The density of the interstellar medium increased dramatically after crossing the heliopause. It was as if Voyager 2 had sailed from a calm harbor into a raging storm. The pressure of plasma was far higher than anticipated, suggesting our heliosphere is pushing against a denser, more energetic region of the galaxy. Even more shocking were the magnetic field readings, much stronger and more structured than predicted. Voyager 2 detected powerful magnetic shockwaves in turbulent regions. The boundary is not a simple line but a complex, dynamic, and violent frontier. Leaving the solar system is not a gentle exit, it's a violent transition into a hostile environment. The universe just got a lot more dangerous. Voyager 2's discoveries are a stark warning. Our heliosphere is our most important shield, protecting us from deadly galactic cosmic rays. If the interstellar environment is more violent than we thought, our shield may be more vulnerable than we realized. For future space travel, this changes everything. Any interstellar starship will need robust shielding to survive the intense radiation and plasma pressures. The journey will be long, and the dangers, immense. By studying the interstellar medium we learn about the life cycle of stars and the evolution of the Milky Way. The gas and dust Voyager 2 is flying through is the raw material for new stars and planets. Voyager 2's message is one of caution and inspiration. The universe is a wild frontier, full of forces we are only beginning to comprehend, but it also shows what humanity can achieve when driven by curiosity. The quest for knowledge is one of our noblest journeys. Voyager 2 continues its journey into the infinite, now more than 12 billion miles away. Its power is fading. Soon its voice will fall silent forever. It will become a ghost ship, drifting through the cosmic ocean for millions of years, a silent ambassador from Earth. But its legacy will endure. The questions it has raised will echo for generations. We now know the space just outside our door is more turbulent and complex than we imagined. The probe carries the golden record, a portrait of our world intended for any intelligent life that might one day find it. The chances are slim, but it is a symbol of our hope and our desire to connect. As Voyager 2 sails into the eternal night, it leaves us with wonder and humility. It has shown us incredible worlds and revealed dangers we never suspected. The universe is vast, mysterious, and filled with endless questions. As long as we continue to look up and send our emissaries into the dark, we will keep finding our way. The quest is endless and that is the most beautiful truth of all.